everyone i hope you're all doing well i just wanted to talk you through what i'm doing today which is getting the ranunculus started off for winter planting in the polytunnel and then they will be flowering next spring <music> are one of the the favorite flowers that i grow here they always get the season off right on a flying start just because everybody loves them so much and i usually sell every single stem that i put in which is amazing so this year we were in lockdown when the ranunculus were in season so i was driving all around east yorkshire and hull delivering ranunculus bunches to people which seemed to put a smile on a lot of people's faces so um, what I'm going to do is start the season off again by um, getting these little things going so that I can put them into the ground ASAP. So I buy my ranunculus combs from Italian Ranunculus. This is part of, this used to be part of a bulk buy with flowers from the farm. So we would buy large quantities from Italian Ranunculus and then it would be split between all of the members in the UK. But recently this year, the method of buying Italian ranunculus has changed and we now have a UK supplier, which I got them through. I'll put some details down below if I can, but it may be uh, flowers from the farm members only thing. So I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that and I will put it down in the description to let you know. So you can buy these in different sizes. So these are four and size four and five. I think that I ordered bigger ones, but um, they were out of stock, so I had to get these. So each packet has got 100 corms in. Let me show you. They're pretty ugly looking things. And these are quite dried out and sort of dehydrated at the moment. So what we need to do is get them rehydrated. So what I'm gonna do is put the ranunculus into a bucket of fresh, clean water for a few hours and this should plump up nicely. Um, I know that some people put like a, um, a fish tank aerator or something in at the same time, you know, just to keep the water fresh because they are quite prone to rotting. But what I tend to do is just change the water every few, um, you know, every now and again when I'm passing, I'll give them a stir and change the water and make sure it's still nice and fresh. So I'll leave them in this bucket for three or four hours and I'll show you the difference when I bring them back out again. So I've got 500 new corms going in this year of various pastel shades. I tend not to go for the darker ones just because it's not really my sort of thing in spring. But I have tried some anemones, anemones this year, so they are going to be an interesting new thing to try. Uh, I think I got the, the white one with the black centre. I've always liked that one. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ranunculus combs from last year that I dug up and stored in crate. For some reason, I don't think that I saved that many of them, but I'm going to go and get the crate and see what I've got there. And I'm going to start those off and I'm going to, usually I plant those in the polytunnel um, and I use them again. And I I noticed that the, the flower heads are a lot smaller, but they're still quite usable in arrangements. So, um, this year, instead of planting them in the polytunnel, I'm going to be planting them outside in a low tunnel, which I bought from um, Twisted Sisters. And um, I'm excited to give this low tunnel a try because I haven't um, had much success in trying to make one myself before, but I know that Debbie did it properly and she got all the proper gear. So um, I'm gonna put that up. It won't be in this video, but in, a, in maybe in a video to come. And yeah, ranunculus in spring, and then I might replace with um, zinnias and celosia, um, and we'll see what else. So these are last year's ranunculus combs that I started off in the same way as the other new ones that I've just done last year, this time last year. And as you can see, they've got still got the stems and the growth on them. So these just need tidying up and trimming down. I think I might have let them dehydrate a bit too much. I'm going to soak them anyway and see how they look when they're soaked. If they look okay, I'll plant them and if not, I'll chuck them. But 
There isn't as many here as I thought I'd saved, which is a bit of a shame, because obviously last year I had 500 or more ranunculus in the polytunnel and I've only saved a few here. But anyway, if you're wondering how my new alpacas are doing, here they are. <laughs> They're getting a bit of a winter fleece now. You say hello to your fans. So my ranunculus have been soaking for a few hours now in the buckets and I also managed to get the old ranunculus trimmed down and um, started soaking so they are looking all right I'll give them a bit longer than the new ones but I'll just show you how I pot them up to get them pre-sprouted before I plant them into the ground so what I do is I soak them for a few hours, then I put them into a gritty compost mix in cello trays and I space them really closely together and I let them sprout and then that is when I will plant them into the ground. So I know that a few people use vermiculite and don't necessarily use any compost to start them off in but because um, I know what I'm like, I'll probably leave them in the trays for quite a while. I thought I'll add a bit of goodness within the compost um, just in case they get left in the trays for a bit longer than they should be. Hector? 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 Hello! <laughs> anyway, so these are the ranunculus corms and as you can see, they've plumped up really nicely. So um, I'm going to start putting them into the seed trays and then they can start sprouting away. So I've just finished putting all of the ranunculus into these trays and then I've got a big one here that's the new ranunculus corms and this is the older bulkier ones so they're all ready and in a couple of weeks time they should start sprouting and then I can start pulling them out and planting them into the polytunnel so I hope you enjoyed this week's video and if you've got some ranunculus corms that you've ordered and you didn't know what to do with them then at least now you do. They're becoming really popular and I think that it's very justified because they are such beautiful flowers and they're really really popular for us in spring like I said earlier. I have another video if you want to check out what they are like when they are fully grown and flowering. If you check out the how I wrap my bouquets video I'll put them up in the banner up here and you can click on there and have a look at what they look like and how I wrap them as well so hopefully I'll see you again next time